Um, I'm from California originally. I'm here at Trinity as a first year geoscience student as a part of the dual BA program between Columbia University and Trinity College Dublin. Uh, just here to give you some tips and tricks and answer any questions you might have if you're thinking about applying to the dual BA. Alright, so I just wanted to talk about what specifically you're going to be studying as part of the program. So uh, in years one and two at Trinity, you're going to be studying geoscience. Um, and at Columbia, in years three and four, you'll study earth science. Um, they're two very similar fields of study. It's essentially the same thing, but you are going to be getting two different degrees from it. Um, so geoscience, um, it's so much more than just geology. Um, you're going to do more than just going to work at a uh, coal mining facility, which is for some reason what everybody thinks I want to do. Um, it's not. Um, the course has a focus on geography, geology, um, human environment interactions, climate change, natural hazards, so much more. Um, I've only been here for a couple months, but I'm already learning so much, <laughs> so many different, a wide variety of things. Um, and there's sort of just a focus on Earth as a whole and how the systems interact with each other. Um, in your first year, you're gonna be taking exactly what I'm taking now, which is the same as what every first year in geoscience at Trinity takes, which is a math course, um, a chemistry course, and a a course called Spaceship Earth, which is sort of just an intro to uh, geoscience, and then in the second semester you take a physics course, a, uh, a geology course, and a course about uh, human environment interactions. Um, at Columbia, on the Earth science side, same thing, focus on the Earth system as a whole and on uh, interactions within that system. Um, you're also going to be taking uh, the core requirements, which you can find on Columbia's website. Um, you will start taking classes to fill those requirements in your second year at Trinity when you have the choice to take some electives um, and you will continue and finish those up when you're at Columbia. So there is the opportunity to take classes outside of your major and both schools offer a wide variety of classes that all fit within the requirements. Um, the other two special aspects of this program, number one is field study. Both schools have a focus on field study. Um, uh, at Trinity, there's opportunity for it theoretically in your second semester of first year. I don't know if that's going to happen for me this year because we're still online, but definitely second, second year there is a field study course and at Columbia you will also be taking a field study course, which for me I found really interesting and exciting. Um, I think it, it should be really cool and it sort of gets you, even if you're not uh, doing an internship at a lab or anything, you get that research aspect. Um, and then finally, when in year four, you're going to be doing a capstone project, which is something that all Trinity students do, uh, but this one is aided by from both Columbia and Trinity and is sort of your final project for all your four years. All right, so if you have seen the earlier videos, you'll know there's one uh, about specific admissions requirements for the program, but if you are going on the geoscience track, there are some additional requirements that you need. So any applicants must present with at least two of biology, chemistry, or computer science, uh, geography, mathematics, physics, uh, geology, applied mathematics, or agricultural science. So just any two of those, normally to an AP or leaving certificate, H4 standard, um, or the equivalent. So if you are not on the American or uh, Irish education system, you can check the uh, admissions website in the description and you'll have more information. All right, so next we're going to talk about the application process. So the two most important things in your application are going to be your essay and your resume. So for the essay, there are the prompt does give you a good set of requirements that they want you to talk about and well obviously you want your essay to flow well I would recommend just individually on your own going through and making sure you hit all those requirements because I think it's important to show them what they're asking for. Um, so for my essay I focused a lot on 
why, why I was specifically interested in geoscience. Um, they are really interested in you showing that you're passionate about your area of study. So I was talking about my experience living in two very different climates, um, even though they were only a couple hours apart. Um, and I talked about, I wanted to highlight uh, my work in a research lab. Um, and then at the end, I made sure to talk about what specifically about the global and international uh, aspects of the program that interests you. Um, so the main things I would say try to hit on are how, why you're passionate about the subject and why you're interested in the dual BA um, and the international pro program. Um, and then for your resume or your CV that you have to include, so this is the chance for you to show anything that you might have been doing that has taken time away from your studies. So for me, like you definitely don't have to have perfect grades for this program. I definitely did not. <laughs> um, but anything that you show in your resume is a way to show like this it could be a reason why your grades were maybe not as good. Um, so for me, again, I wanted to highlight the fact that I did research in a lab. I highlighted uh, my work in a woman in STEM club at my high school. Um, anything that was related to your uh, major specifically will be helpful. I also talked about sports I did. Um, being anything team-wise, it's going to be great to highlight. Um, I talked about honestly any other hobbies or interests you have. Like the more they know, the better informed their decision is going to be. So like, don't leave anything out. Like. If anything you think is not important, like let them, let the admissions officers be the judge of that. Obviously, I don't know what goes on in the admissions program process, but this is kind of the things I would try to highlight that seem to work for me. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the interview process. Um, so remember, or for those of you who did make it past the first rounds of admissions, you will be able to do an interview. Um, I did mine remotely because I live in California. Um, over Zoom, and I don't know what it's going to be like exactly, but for me it was with one admissions officer and then one course representative from each school. Um, so that's the main thing that's going to be different from probably any other uh, college interviews you're doing is that this one is with representatives from your course specifically. So again, they really want to see that you're passionate about what you're studying um, and you're passionate about the, the subject matter. And, of course, they want to see that you're interested in global study. Uh, you definitely don't have to be a world traveler. I wasn't. You don't have to have lived in a bunch of other places. Um, but you do want to show that uh, you're interested in it and that you know the benefits of uh, going to two different schools. Um, both the school's course uh, pages have a lot of information about what you're going to be studying. Um, and so I would recommend checking those out and finding something that you think is super interesting or exciting to you. That's what I did. Um, and then making sure you know that for your interview and just focusing on, even if you obviously aren't expected to know everything about geoscience because you're here to learn, but make sure you have something that you're excited um, to talk about. Um, and then, yeah, I would say those are the main tips I have. Just make sure you be passionate and be yourself. All right, so finally, I just wanted to talk about why I personally chose the dual BA. Um, I know it's a huge decision um, to think about. Uh, for me, it took me forever to decide. I wasn't sure if this was the program for me, if this was even what I wanted to study. But it is a super unique program. You're not going to find it anywhere else. Um, and there are a ton of benefits that come with that. Um, you're going to get personalized attention from lots of different places, um, from two different schools. Uh, it is a small tight-knit program within two larger schools so you sort of get both worlds there um, and then with geoscience in particular there are also a ton of benefits both the schools have amazing programs um, i know when i was talking to other uh, geoscience professors and geology professors in my hometown they very much knew the columbia earth science program is well known the trinity program is also very well known um, both schools have a focus on field study, which I found super interesting. Um, I think 
if you're interested in geoscience, it's going to be pretty exciting for you. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I want to say. Um, there is additional information uh, linked to in the description below. Um, make sure you comment and subscribe. Any comments you have, I'll try and answer your questions. Um, and I think that's it. I wish everybody good luck. Um, please apply to their program. It is so cool. I've only been here a couple months, but I'm already enjoying it so much. Um, yeah, anyway, good luck.